My cookies have baked for 35 minutes, and as you can see, they're nice and lightly golden brown on top. And you want to let them sit for just a few minutes so they're cool enough to handle. And with a serrated knife, now remember, they are biscotti, so they're twice baked cookies. We're going to cut them and bake them again. And now we take the cookies, we put them back on the baking sheet, cut side down so they can continue to bake. So now take the other log and again, cut it into about three quarter of an inch to an inch wide cookies. And we're gonna bake these for another 25 minutes until they're nice and crunchy. While my cookies bake, I'm melting 18 ounces of white chocolate chips in a double boiler. Once my chocolate chips melt, then I'm gonna dip the cooled cookies into the melted chocolate. There we go. All right, my chocolate's melted. So now my cookies should be done. I'm gonna take them out and cool them before I dip them. So my cookies have baked and cooled. So now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. I take the cookie and I kind of just dip it into the chocolate and I just dip it halfway up. Look how pretty that is. See? And then I put it back on the wire rack because I want it to cool before I can eat it. Aren't they pretty? All right, I'm gonna finish dipping the rest of my cookies and then let them cool. Here's a treat that is like two desserts in one. I start with simple pound cake batter, spiced with cinnamon. Then I stir sweetened raspberries right into it to make the cake fruity and moist. I dollop whipped cream flavored with sweet Fin Santo wine on top. This dessert lets you have your cake, fruit, and cream and eat it too. Like every pound cake, I always start with the dry ingredients first. So I've pre-measured my flour, which is one and a half cups, my baking soda, which is one teaspoon, and my salt, which is half a teaspoon. Now, to make it extra special and to warm everything up, I'm gonna add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. It doesn't have any heat to it, but it just adds a lot of warmth to the pound cake. So I really like it. All right, so now that we've added that, I'm just gonna give this a quick little whisk just to mix all the dry ingredients together. Perfect, and it's funny because you can actually smell the cinnamon. It's so aromatic, I love it. So now, the dry ingredients are done. Let's move on to our wet ingredients. We've got one stick of unsalted butter and I brought it to room temperature so it's nice and soft. So we're gonna add one and a third cups of sugar. Just regular granulated sugar. There we go, okay. So now we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar together because I want the sugar to dissolve in the butter so we get a nice, smooth consistency. Perfect, so now I can add one egg at a time. Second egg. All right, last egg. Okay, for a little citrus sweetener, I'm gonna add orange zest right into the dough. And the orange kind of brings out the flavor of the cinnamon and the, the flavor of the raspberries that we're gonna add as well. one teaspoon of vanilla extract. It's just kind of a, a florally sweetness. Just give this a quick little mix. And we are ready to add our dry ingredients. So we're gonna add it in just in parts, so probably three parts, a little bit at a time to allow the dough to slowly absorb the dry ingredients. If you do it all at once, then you kinda get a, a lumpy dough and you don't want that. There you go. And second.
second batch. I can still smell the cinnamon and the orange. It's so yummy. So, dry ingredients are in. Let's give it one last mix. There we go. Looking good. Take the paddle out, and we'll take the bowl off. And let's clean off the paddle, make sure that we get all of this dough. Now, one 10 ounce bag of frozen raspberries that I thawed out completely. And the reason I'm adding them right at the end and just mixing them in with a spoon is because I want to get nice chunks of raspberry in every bite of the pound cake. And if I put it back over there, the paddle will just kind of smush it. Now, let's get the baking sheet. I have a loaf pan that I've already buttered and floured. So now, all I have to do is pour the batter right into the loaf pan. There we go. So now I just want to level it off just a little bit. And we're going to bake this in a 350 degree oven for 55 to 60 minutes. And up next, I'm going to show you how to finish this all off with a Vinsanto cream. <laughs>